Hey everyone, before we get started with today's lesson, I wanted to tell you the story of everyone's two favorite eighth notes, Ta and Di. Ta and Di were best friends. They did literally everything together. But one day, while these two friends were talking, they got into a fight. So they decided to stop being friends, and now they're on their own. But it's okay, because they realize that they can meet new friends and make new rhythms. This is Miss Essence for a new intro song. So far, all of the rhythms we've learned start on the beat. But not all of the rhythms that exist in the world start on the beat. That would be so boring. And we want to spice it up. So let's add to our rhythmic vocabulary by learning about syncopation. Syncopation sounds like a big and complicated word. If you look it up in the dictionary, or Google, the definition listed is of music or a rhythm characterized by displaced beats or accents so that the strong beats are weak and vice versa. That sounds hard. So let me simplify it for you. That just means that in syncopated rhythms, at least one part of the rhythm doesn't start on the beat. So here's an example of rhythms that start on the beat. This is what it sounds like when we play just the parts that are off the beat. Isn't that spicy? Here's an example of the most common syncopated rhythm we see. I like to call it a quarter note sandwich. In this rhythm, we have a quarter note sandwiched between two eighth notes. The eighth notes are the bread, and the quarter note is the delicious center. That might be ham or vegetables, whatever you eat, it's fine. Here's how we would play the rhythm using Takadimi syllables. First, we write down the syllables for each note. So we have ta, di, ta, di. Then we figure out which eighth notes the rhythms fall on and only say those syllables. So if I look at this, I notice that a rhythm starts on the first ta, the next D, and there's no rhythm that lines up with the ta after that. So we're just gonna not say that one. And then after that, we have the last D. So we're left with ta, D, D. Now if we use the number system of counting, we would do it like this. First, label all the eighth notes like this, one and two and. Then we do the same thing. We just figure out which eighth note the rhythm is being played on and use only those numbers and syllables. We know that there's an eighth note on one and we have a quarter note on and. We don't have a new note starting on two and we have an eighth note on the next and, which means that we only have one and and. Now something that helps me remember this rhythm is that there are two short notes on the outside and one long note in the middle. So sometimes I'll think of it as short, long, short. Or if you want to help remember that it's called syncopation, you can also just say pa. So just to review, we have many different ways that we can say this new rhythm. Using takadimi syllables like this, ta di di. Using the number system like this, one and and. Or we can simply say pa to remind us that this is called a syncopated rhythm, which just means that some parts of the rhythm are off the beat rather than on the beat. So that's it for today's lesson. Hope you learned something and hope you had fun. And as always, see you next time. Bye.